Well, how about digging up a piece of the past? You can now have a hands-on experience with archaeology right here in the upstate. 96 National Historic Site is hosting an archaeology day that is fun for the whole family. And joining me now from 96 National Historic Site is Adrian Stewart. Thank you so much for stopping You're in. You're welcome. I've already had so much fun talking with you in the break, but before we get to all the fun items, for those who are maybe not familiar, can you talk about what 96 National sure. Historic Site is? 96 National historic site is part of the National Park Service. Um, we are located in Greenwood County and we preserve a really long period of history but our predominant <laughs> focus is the revolution. We have two battles, one in 1775, so early in the war. Next year is our 250th anniversary wow. for that one and then we have a longest land siege in the um, war in 1781. So we've got two chances at the 250th, which is coming up. Wow, also yeah. coming up later this month, you're hosting an archeology span day. Yes. What do people need to know about this? So it'll be on Saturday, August 17th from nine to three o'clock. Um, it is free, everything we do is free. Um, and it'll be a good chance for people to come and learn about archeology, span what it is, what it isn't. Mm -hmm. um, how we preserve our archaeological sites, why archaeology happens, and what to do if they find artifacts. Yes, that's such a good question there. Yes. I know at this event there won't be any digging, but right. when you are doing an archaeology dig, what kind of stuff are you looking for? Um, it depends. A lot of times on, a lot of times it's students who are kind of leading the need for those digs, so it depends on what they're looking for. Um, previous digs. We've had students that were looking at revolutionary period time things. Um, so they were looking in actually the star fort that we have there. And we're looking for like evidence of shells, weapons that were being used. Mm. Um, we've had archaeology at the trading post. So they were looking for where exactly was the trading post and yeah. what type of artifacts can we find that would teach us what they were trading, yeah. um, things like that. Absolutely. You brought us a kind of a preview of yes. archaeology day. What are we looking at here? So we're looking at a lot of reproduction items. Um, these are not artifacts themselves, but they represent different types of artifacts that may be found. Um, some of them you might not find just depending on the soil and how degraded it gets. But even on clothing, you might be able to say, hey, this was a jacket or something because yeah. I found this many buttons. You know, things are going to last better when they're metal, usually. Um, we've got some powder horns again. Um, they last pretty well being a horn. Um, we've got fossils <laughs> um, or bones. Um, projectile points that are often things people find being made of rock, they don't degrade. Um, bone buttons, shells, things that could have been traded, um, even old timey glasses. Yeah. Um, this is probably one of my favorites. It is a 3D model of the military tunnel that we have on site. Um, unfortunately, people can't go in it. But um, back in 2014, some archaeologists went down in it and they took 3D images and we oh, got this great model cool. from it. And then we also have, this is a game I made up um, to help people learn about archaeology and what to do. So yeah. people will have a chance to play that game that day as well. I thought this was cool because you were saying, I mean, you're never going to probably find like right. glasses that are whole, but you might find some pieces of it or you might not find a hat, but you were saying you could find yes. kind of this little medallion there. And it's, it's so cool to think about how archaeologists not only find things, but then they piece together what exactly yes. it was so we can learn from history. Yes. I really think that this is going to be fun for the whole family because I'm I certainly so. very fascinated. <laughs> so thank you so much you're for welcome. stopping in. And of course, if you are interested, Archaeology Day is August 17th at 96 National Historic site. It's going to be from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. As Adrian mentioned, this is free to attend. So for more information, we'll have a link on our website at foxcarolina.com. And now.